Hey there, CPO here, and I wanted to do a quick video to show how to get the Tyrannus uh, radio set up to operate the Phoenix simulator. I needed to do the same thing for myself, and somebody had asked for a video on how to do this, and it's really quite simple. Uh, so I'll go through it with you real quick, uh, as if you were doing it from the transmitter, just so you can get a sense of um, what it takes to get it done. So the first thing I'm going to do is go down and just create a new model. And I'm going to use a blank model. Um, so now I have model 4. So I'm going to go into the model setup. And the name, I'm just going to call this sim. Now I do have several simulators. Uh, that I plan to use this with, uh, HeliX being the other one that I like uh, for helicopter simulation. But the settings on this will pretty much be the same and it will be the individual uh, calibration uh, of each simulator that makes a difference. Okay, so I have my model name sim. The only thing I'm required to change to make this work is one thing. And that is the trainer mode has to go from master to slave and uh, the channel range is just fine. All that stuff can be the same. The other thing I am going to do is turn off my internal uh, module just because I don't need it. If I'm sitting here on the simulator I don't need uh, any uh, RF signal leaving the radio. That's it. Basically I didn't touch anything else. You can play around with all the other normal settings you would want to do uh, for setting up aircraft, you can change your uh, switch assignments, your DR Expo, all of that stuff. Uh, but just for now, I just want to show you the real basics of what it takes to get connected. So with that connected, let's take a look at Phoenix. All right, so here I am in Phoenix. Uh, and basically what I'm going to do is connect my uh, transmitter on that sim model I just created. Uh, plug in the uh, the Phoenix dongle cable to the trainer port on the Tyrannus and just power it on. Have fun, honey, and please try not to crash this time. Once I've got power, you can see I've automatically uh, got some default control over the aircraft, but I still need to calibrate this transmitter. I'm going to go to System, set up new transmitter. Center sticks. Moving all of my sticks in a complete circle. You can see I've got all four channels going out. Moving all my switches. I always like to go into the advanced calibration uh, and just make sure all of my channel assignments are set the way I want. I'm just going to go with my transmitters not listed and recenter my sticks. And then this way um, it allows me to make sure that my channel assignments are where I want. So throttle up and down. Yep, channel one, that's what I leave it at. Rudder should be channel four. Yep. That works. Elevator should be channel 3. And aileron, channel 2. Yep. Program with switches. I don't know if this actually really always works, but I do it anyway. Recenter all the controls. Elevator stick to its extents and then fully up and fully down. So elevator fully up, fully down. Aileron fully left and fully right. Throttle fully up and then fully down. Successfully completed. And there we go. And you can see um, how I have the appropriate uh, channel. So 
Finish that, back to my model. Sorry for the choppy video. I'm using Phoenix in a uh, in a VM and it doesn't always play nicely when I'm trying to do screen recording. But anyway, that's it. That is getting your Tyrannus working on your flight simulator. So hope that was helpful for you. Um, thanks for watching.